All right, so I'm on Val de Bois today, and I'm gonna be hunting Ibex. And I'm hunting with my buddy Dander on here. And we're gonna see who can shoot a bigger Ibex. He's over on the North Mountain. I'm here on the South Mountain. And we're just gonna have a little competition here to see who can shoot a bigger Ibex. But we're gonna go out now and see what's hiding up on these mountains. Rain and Ibex hunting don't mix all that well. They don't mix at all, actually. Can't see shit, especially when they blend in so well already. Yeah. I think my best bet is actually just to spook them all into a funnel. Usually oh, the shooting at Termigan. <laughs> usually the um in the rain the ones that I see are the ones with those gold horns and you can see the gold horns shine really nicely through the rain. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're the horn color that awards the least bonus points though on the score sheet. You get bonus points for color of horn? Yeah. Up to four, I think. The dark chocolate ones give the give the most. Hmm. Ibex call, female. Let's see what this ptarmigan scored. Small boy, very small one. That's one of the smallest ptarmigan I've ever seen. That was a male too. One eleven, so it would have been two twenty three. Well, if it was over 0.5, then yeah. Yeah. It was 111.7. I have spotted an Ibex. Decent one? It's looking right at me. I'm pretty sure it's a female. If it's a male, it's very small. It is a very small male. We're gonna pop I him. I've also spotted a very small male. And he's down. And the ptarmigans didn't like me shooting him too much, but uh, oops, we're uh, we're out of ammo in that now. Well, in that box at least. I should have to say, you never run out of ammo. Not not often, no. You down. I don't see any that spooked. I think I got a pretty poor Ibex Ooh, spawn. There's a ptarmigan. Oh, come on. God. Okay, so I can't aim. This as is it would an appear. Ibex hunt. Yeah, but there's no Ibex because I just shot at one. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta entertain myself somehow. <laughs> I think there was at least 25 ptarmigan where I started. And I withheld from shooting at any of them. Did you bring a 22 pistol? I did. Oh, well then... Why the hell not? Because then I would have spooked this guy, probably. I'm still, I'm still gonna clap you. Apparently I was in an Ibex comp. Choose wisely, that one where you, like... The first male you harvest is your score. I didn't, I didn't oh. choose very wisely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got different Ibex traps. I'm still gonna, still gonna clap you in this Ibex comp. Have you shot one yet? I have. Did it score more than mine? Not yet. I don't okay. know. I mean, I hope we shoot one over the There's the bastard. There we go, I got him. Okay, I don't hear any Ibex spooking. We're not, we don't have an issue here yet. 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 <laughs> and when we do... 10 mil time. Ah, uh, remember when you clapped that 269 with the, uh, whatsamacallit? The 44? <laughs> that was awful. 
I spooked it, loaded the 44, and then shot it on the run while it was running away and dropped it. It was probably the most disgusting montage clip I've ever recorded. <laughs> I mean, didn't you did just clock magpie geese with the crossbow pistol? I did, yeah. And if I remember correctly, you shot a pretty nice one. 3912. <laughs> Yeah. This guy probably doesn't even beat 119. Oh, I lied. I'm probably, uh, I'm probably one of the few people who would see a 3750 to 4000 magpie goose flying around the blind and think, I'm gonna shoot that with a crossbow pistol. And then actually do it. In the air, of course. Most people would definitely shoot that on the ground with a crossbow pistol. Hmm. Oh shoot, I spooked something. Alright, I'm gonna go down the climbing gear and not risk going around the side. Holy like... crap, eight things just spooked. I'm pretty sure if while I'm doing the climbing gear, if I use one of my attempts and like fall to the bottom, then it just like puts me closer to the bottom so I can just like crawl a tiny little bit. I don't have to go the full way down. Whoops, I fell again anyway, because I'm bad. Come on. Okay, here we, are. we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. And I'm on the ground. Still no 200 plus Ibex. Well, this is going in a funny moment, video. <laughs> Okay, screw you. You're wasting my time. I'm not seeing any ptarmigans or ibex. You, I can't wait to show you that. That was the dumbest thing. <laughs> it was spook- you know how the animals make the noise when they spook? Yeah, 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 that weird squeak whistle kind of noise that they make when they no. spook. No, 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 like, the sound of them running off, like, the hooves hitting the dirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just making that noise repeatedly, and dashing in a straight line back and forth. Nice. This game is so much better than Call of the Wild. <laughs> totally Indeed. not broken at all. Hey, Call of the Wild isn't exactly, uh, in great shape either. Call of the Wild doesn't work. That wasn't a game-breaking bug. Like, <laughs> level 2's making diamond. Let's not talk about Call of the Wild. Yeah. Probably for the better. Yes. So if I need Ptarmigan... I didn't mount it, sadly. Wow. Because I didn't know it was big at the time. Whoops. Oh, he just spooked an Ibex. Oh, I got it. No, I just missed. No, I just missed. There's gotta be more than two. Oh, I see points. one. It's a female. The hell of a shot. I think I hit it. Yeah, I definitely hit it. She's hunched over. Ooh, shot just behind her. Yeah, that's a little further than, uh... Than I think I'm capable of shooting with this 6.5. Especially with the scope that I have on it. Go get this bird and see. She should just be... If she doesn't die, she'll just be hunched up on that cliff. Yeah. I am in the lead by 50 points. Hmm. That doesn't mean much when your bird isn't very or your ibex isn't very big. He's not wrong. 
Oh? Yeah, I ate it live on stream. <laughs> what, what is Supreme Pizza? You've never had Supreme Pizza? Oh. Hey, Bobby! Alright, so this is the spot that I'm gonna try to get down without dying. So that I can get to my other climbing gear to get onto the rest of the mountain. I can usually get down alive. Usually. And that's the hardest part. Oh, I hear an Ibex spooking. What are you doing down here? Please roll down. Please roll down. Please roll down. Please roll down. Did that thing Please just go down. through the wall? No, you're rolling down the rocks. God damn it. Okay. Well, that Ibex ran by. It was a small female and then just kind of like went through the rock face. That's impressive. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not going back up there to get it. And in fact, I if, I had, if I had killed it, it would have fell all the way down there and I wouldn't have gotten to get it anyway. So let's just call it a win-win. I just shot. Ooh, there's an Ibex call. Oh no, that's not an Ibex call, that's the sound of two males clashing their hands together. Oh, so that's like, better than an Ibex call. That is much better than an Ibex call. Don't they have to have like, minimum of 230 to do that? No, I've seen videos of small ones. Have you? Clashing See, with big ones. big ones do it. I think I'm gonna make the dog maybe lay down down here and then climb up. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I think I hear one spooking, or at least warning calling. Stop. I didn't maybe. Know Ibex had a warning call, but that guy's wide. Well, you know, He's like the whistle, sweet kind of noise they make when they run? Yeah. I don't think they make it as a warning call, like they just gotta do it when they're running. But I'm hearing that, but it's that not coming from the direction massive. that I heard the that I heard the head bashing from. We're gonna hope that we don't have a male running away. You see a big one? Yeah. I hit it at least. I'm out of ammo. Nice. And I'm up. And yeah. Ooh, I hear one walking already right in front of me. Probably should have brought a bow. There's a little male, I think, up on the... There's another one right in front of me. If I can claim this guy, I easily win the comp. Like, this yeah. guy might be 270. Where did he go? There he is. Hey, the Ibex on this mountain are definitely more plentiful than on the other one. 115 to 220 yeah. male there. He's just a small one. And I think this one might also be a small male in front of me. You need a minimum of 170. Oh, I'm gonna say a, a minimum of 240 if I can claim this guy. Oh, there's a couple I'm up so, there. I'm so glad I doubled back and checked that valley. That's a, that's a pretty small ibex there. I wonder, that one almost looks wounded like that one that I shot earlier. But, <laughs> uh, I'm not, after I heard those two clashing horns, I don't want to fire any shots at small ones until I get a better look at my surroundings. Fair enough. Surprised this female here hasn't spooked yet. I really should have brought, uh, maybe should have brought a bow. Like I did? Yeah. Yeah, like you did. Um... That small male up there. He's probably a 170. Uh-oh. That puts my lead in danger. Well, I mean, I'm not even gonna shoot him. I'm gonna see if I can find a one with a decent curl up here. 
over by where I heard the head bashing. There's kind of ibex everywhere. I find it hard to believe that, especially with those two males bashing heads, that one of them isn't a decent one. There's another one right there. That looks like a small male. Oh, got an eagle feather, 551 millimeters. Nice. Oh, there's a couple more ibex. It looks like there's three of them there. I think that one's a male. Still nothing you that have to say, I makes think. me want to pull, yeah, yeah, nothing that makes me want to pull the trigger. Still nothing with Curl making an appearance. Oh, you're gonna see this guy and he's gonna be 274. Then I'm gonna be upset King <laughs> of the Kill isn't Ibex this week. Hmm. Ooh, there's one running around over there. That is a rather tiny female. And I hear ptarmigans. Uh-oh. Where'd they go? Heard them land. Ooh, there's an Ibex running by. And it's down. Nice shot. I'm running into a wall because I was itching my ear. Nice. I don't know, this this one this one on my left here might put your uh your one seventy lead in danger until you pick up your big one. If I pick up my big one. That's fair. Yeah, I would say this one might break 200. Oh, uh, 171. What was yours? No, 170 on the dot. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm in the lead. I guess that was my first kill with the 10 millimeter. Or uh, our first ethical kill, I should say. <laughs> Come on, I had to test it on a water buffalo. I had to. Did you actually? Got a little bit too close to the magpie blind, which I'm not really sure why I had it with me in the magpie blind, but that's what happened. It's fine. That thing hardly had time to turn around before it flopped over. <laughs> I remember you telling me that. <laughs> We're gonna. Where the heck did that other one go? Wait, maybe its tracks didn't go off a cliff. I should probably stop sprinting. Probably not a bad. Idea. Oh, there he is. And he's hit. And we missed that shot. Oh, we gotta put more bullets in. Oh, he turned back around, so. I don't have to worry about hitting him again, or missing him. And he's down. Big boy? No, not even close. Maybe bigger than the one that I shot, but... Still nothing with any sort of decent curl. Yeah, he might break 170. But still, yeah, nothing. Ooh, heart shot him on the run. 164. I think you are technically winning. I mean, as of right now. If you don't get... Yeah, this is- this guy is definitely the one. Oh. Here we go, boys. I can't- okay. We're going Reverend Trophy Pose. Well, 250. That might take it. I'm gonna get up to that other spot, though. I'm gonna run- Probably gonna take it. I'm gonna run down to the tent and get up on that uh, on that ridge and see if I can find a bigger one. All right, so I'm back at the mountain and I have climbing gear this time. So I'm gonna actually shoot a decent ibex this time because I haven't seen shit so far. 
We gotta be the 250. Which isn't that hard. Climbing gear up. So, 13 minutes left. Ooh, there we go. I just saw the one that was gonna beat you. I just saw his curl sticking up over the rock. That's a big one. That's a very no big way. Ibex. No way. At least I think it is. It had the nice dark chocolate covered horns. I've never been up on this mountain either, so that's very interesting. There's another small one over there, but we found- Ooh, there's another big one right there. Holy! Okay, yeah, this is a good mountain. Alright, so we're gonna- 185 to 290. We're gonna shoot this one and then run over the hill. And shoot the other one. Alright, that should be enough. Okay, he's down. Now let's run over the hill and see if we can see the other one. We never agreed on a time limit. Is that him right there? That is him. Okay, this one's not as big as the other one. But he's down. He's gonna fall down the cliff. He actually might still be bigger than 250, though. I hope not. One of them has to be. I didn't get a score estimate on this one. Didn't really get a chance to. But there we go. Two big Ibex immediately as we get up this mountain. I've never been up here, so that's quite nice. That, that'll uh, it'll definitely be encouraging to come back up here again next time I hunt Ibex. Let's have a look and see what this one scored. In before 278. And it's only a 228. Oh. But the other one was definitely bigger. I can breathe easy for now. I wouldn't be breathing easy just yet. Oh, there he is. Okay. No! Four minutes! Yeah, that looks much nicer than the other one. No! I don't know if he'll break 250. We hit him three times. Oh, only a 238. Oh! <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet victory. I have four yeah. minutes left. Don't be... You do have four minutes left, but I doubt you kill anything in the next four minutes of anything of any substantial value. Well, Rudy, it would appear that uh, I beat you in this one. It, so. it, you can take your one victory. I'll let you have one. I'll let you have one. One victory? One victory. What species should we do next? I'll leave that one up to you, considering I kind of picked this one. Okay. We'll see what the uh, comment section has to think about it. Sounds like a plan. I won't lose again. I won't lose again. It was a good hunt, though. It was a good hunt. Good hunt. Very good hunt. Some nice ibex were down. Nah, the, the, nice the beginning. Ibex. The beginning. Yeah, yeah. The beginning was slow, but we got yeah. some. We got some. You got you some. you you fell off the cliff a couple times. It was it was kind of. My ankles are actually non-existent now. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, no, you definitely don't have any ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for this one. Yep, later guys.